What's going on guys, it's you here bringing you another review slash reaction on Eden Zero. And in this one, I gotta say, I wasn't expecting this twist at all, but I'm kind of glad that we're getting something that is a bit peculiar, a little different from what most of us would have thought would happen in this, uh, I guess, new planet. But it was enjoyable. It kind of was, I will say. So we start off with them getting on the planet and it looks very foresty they even talk about the terminology of like jungle and forest like how it's it, it kind of gives off the di a different vibe when you say one and not the other uh personally i've never even thought about this myself but then now let's just start thinking about it as i'm speaking now i think jungle does sound a little rougher than forest it does forest does sound softer it kind of does maybe it's the way i'm saying it or the way i'm thinking it sounds but jungle, jungle sounds cool to me, but hey, it is what it is. I'm not going to get into a whole topic on what sounds better. But we have the forest, I mean, the planet just covered in just nature. And it was funny because we get to see how Rebecca is just like, I can't get any connection. I can't look at all the restaurants and all that. And why is like, can't you kids in the future just stop looking at you know your devices and it's like and then we have like sorry about that we have shiki and we have hamora just kind of like eh, i never had internet and he's like it ain't bothered me he's like you guys don't count you guys aren't really the you don't give off that vibe and it's just kind of like i like how their little conversations are just hilarious like just kind of like a conversation you would have like a, with a modern day, I guess, older person or, you know, just in general, something you would talk about with something, someone that's older. But we get to see like when they actually get out that things are very different. It's very strange. In fact, we actually see people being like pets, which was kind of um, uh, wrong, obviously. I mean, now that I think about it, like pets, man. And I'm thinking about things a lot as I'm as I'm talking. But like pet, you know, is this how maybe they see us? Like, you know, like cruel things. But we see how like these like humans are being now like treated as the uh, like pets and you know like two robots are like supreme overlords and they're talking. What was sad is like these this, these pair of robots are talking and we see how like these like these two humans they were actually engaged to each other which was really you know random i don't know if that was just added in there just to make it a little more sad but then what was crazy was the the discussion that these these two droids or bots or whatever had and we see like how they differ and one just blows the head off the other one which allows the uh, humans to actually escape which was honestly you know very just out there you know we did not expect that and so we actually get to find out that the person that's behind this is none other than Ziggy. Ziggy's actually the one that is, you know, in charge of this brainwashing. It seems like as though the the humans are now going to be considered like trash, and the bots are now going to be like ruling the like the whole galaxy, which is something that we know that that's his goal. But it's crazy to see how Ziggy has this much influence on bots and just changing a planet and even like how the whole planet has now become this whole weird strange thing which also like they started killing people they started killing humans and you know it was crazy i guess the humans that survived became pets and so we actually have some bots starting to come closer to where they're at and they quickly have to adapt we see how like everyone is just like all right all four knees now and then we have Pino and Happy acting like the owners. Um, one of the bot that walked up was like, I really want Rebecca. And I was like, okay, this is just kind of weird. You're a robot, you know, like, you know, how in the world would you want that to work? Like that, that's not how, anyway, we see how like, I guess Wise had enough of that. And he just kind of short circuits the robot, doesn't kill it. And luckily out of nowhere, couch po shows up if you guys don't remember who that is she's actually one of the girls that were rescued one of the b cubers that rebecca rescued back in gills a long time ago at least at this, at this point that's what it feels and we see them uh just being taken by her and explain the situation which was crazy 
and so by the end of it we see like this giant bot showing up and all of a sudden like these guys are now in danger and Shiki doesn't want to destroy this bot but he has no other choice like if you mess with my friends I'm gonna have to do something about it so a good little cliffhanger I thought it was kind of nice I thought it was cool but let me know what you guys think it was a peculiar ep uh, chapter but as always though stay safe take care of yourselves and other guys subscribe if you're new and as always I will catch you later